Good day everyone, my name is Karen Koka and today I'm going to show you how to link an SQL database table to Microsoft Access. First to begin we need to open up Management Studio. If you don't have it already, you'll need to go on to, on to the Microsoft website and download both SQL Express and Management Studio in order for it to work properly. So I can see I start up, it has my server name here already. Just copy that for future purposes. Connect. Until I see it as to the server. So by databases I'm going to right click on that and select new database. I'm going to give the database a name. For example I'll just put TV series. Click OK. see it has created the database TV series now what I'm going to do I'm going to create a table so I have to ex expand TV series right click on tables select table I'm just gonna add like three columns so that's the name the genre and ratings for the data type Varcha I'll set Varcha for all of them Allow nulls? No, I don't want nulls So when that is done make sure that you save it we we'll ask for name um, you can name it anything you want. In this case, I'll name it Top Rated Shows. If you expand table, you'll see it here. It is what was created here. Top Rated Shows. If I go on to edit top 200 rows, see here. I haven't, well obviously I haven't populated the columns yet, as yet, but I'll do that in a short while. So now I'm going to go into access. I'm going to run as administrator. Create a blank desktop space database. Sorry, I'm going to go to external data. Click on ODBC database. This is where you'll be set up the process to link it to the SQL database. So when you see this, you're going to see like link to the data source by creating a linked table. Hit OK. Go to machine data source. New. Leave it as user data source. Next. You're going to look for SQL Server. Hit Next finish and you could just give it a name mm. 
Hmm. And which SQL server do you want it to connect to? Click the drop down box. And you're linking it your server name. You could give it a short description if you want. That hit next. Leave this as default. Next. Change the default database to check the box. You want to change it from master to TV series. That was the database name. And hit ne then hit next. Then you're going to hit. Yeah, then you're going to hit finish. You could test test the data source. Let's run any connectivity tests. Test completed successfully. It's okay. Okay again. You can see it appears here. I'll get it. Okay. Now I'm going to minimize this a bit. Oh, I believe this this came up by itself. So yeah, after all it came up. So ensure that you selected the database that you created re recently. Hit OK. Field, the fields I want to use all, so hold on control and just select all, then hit OK. And you can see it, it appears here. So I'll go open it up, as you see, name, genre, ratings. So now I'm going to populate the field. So if I can use like five, three, TV, TV series. So Game of, Game of Thrones, genre, fantasy, ratings. Should I change this to? Uh, should I change the um the data type of this? But I won't do that because it's just a tutorial of how I'm linking it. So like flash action uh, yeah one more one more yeah. so break action yeah. So I'm going to save it. Alright, and come across the back into SQL Management Studio. I'm going to look for tables, refresh. So, so close it off, refresh, open it back up, and as you can see, whatever I entered here, it it was updated in the SQL Management Studio. So I've shown you how to link an SQL database table to Microsoft Access, and how you could update it in Access, and it will appear back in SQL.
So I'd like to thank you all for watching and see you next time.